Hey, come here. Are you switching the stream on or off right now? Because I didn't realize we were live. You know, I was no. looking for the live stream on YouTube, but I didn't find. We're not live. You're we're, on we're live now. I just, I just turned it on. Okay, we're, great. We were not live Look. before. All right. Not live. You're on we're live now. I just I just turned it on. Okay, we're, great. We were not live. Yeah, so we're we're we we're, we're, we're live right now. In case you did not know that. Yeah, it's a very good, uh, interesting conversation. Uh, did anybody have any, uh, do you have any follow on to that conversation or? No, I guess, you know, I was, I'm, I'm still taking on what we initially, on what I was initially brought up earlier about crypto. And I'm still wondering what made it go up a few days ago? Uh, what was that? What? Uh, how? How the? Uh, what was said by Powell affected the rise in, in the Bitcoin uh, value and Coney and everything went up. I'm still trying to understand, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about why why it go up. Um, I'm just happy it went up, but I can't tell you why it go up. Uh, uh, yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> happy, that's for sure. Yeah, crypto is tough, man. Um, I, I look back, I you know, I wish I played some crypto too, but I, I just don't know enough about it. Uh, and then the one crypto people that came and talked to me, they yell at me. So then I, I like screw that, you know. Um, <laughs> But other than that, man, I have no problem with crypto, man. I, I, I just didn't know. I mean, I'm brand new to the space, you know? And I just created a YouTube channel and I'm brand new and I don't know anything about it. And 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 the and the, the first thing you do is get yelled at by the community. I was like, no thanks, you know? That will turn you off pretty quickly too. Yeah, so earlier I messaged in the chat uh, trying to get uh, some reaction to what uh, what the guys here think what uh, the, the dividend amount will be for this month yeah. and Pony considering all the volatility and uh, rise <laughs> in value uh, yeah so I saw opinions went from dollar 75 to two dollars what do you think for, for which one Coney. Coney? Uh, there's potential Coney may get two dollars. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Let's wait to that. <laughs> it's it's high, it, it's most likely it's gonna get two dollars. I mean there's not there's I can't imagine why it doesn't get two dollars. How about that? The chain. Yeah, it's because take a look at the last two dollar stocks. Last time I paid two dollar, and guess what? It, uh, it it's pretty good. I mean, it, it do exact. It did exactly the same thing. I don't know, I'm just excited to get... Uh, I'm new to Connie, you know? I'm just excited for the 
Come and give it in. How many share you have in Connie? Not a lot. I mean, like a less than hundred, right? It's not, well, not that a big dude, deal. Well, that's a lot more still. than me, man. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. Yeah, I went in hard. You know, I figured an yeah. ETF that works on the volatility of the of the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is volatile. Totally. <laughs> Give me. You did it right, man. You did it right. Eleven hundred. You're gonna get roughly, you know, almost two, three thousand dollars. I mean, just from that. No. Oh, 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 you got me wrong. I said that less than a hundred. Sorry. One hundred. One hundred. Oh well, then less. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I, yeah. Well, then at least you get something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not I, I that eleven hundred. I have five hundred shares. I have five hundred shares. So give me almost a thousand dollars. I get eight hundred. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't put uh, for the moment. I don't, I don't, I don't go over two thousand dollars on any guild max fund right now. I'm just that's my risk, risk tolerance for 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 these funds for the moment. For MZ, I drip on MZ. I don't care. You know, I'm I'm looking at what it did. It, it's great. It's, it's really beautiful. I feel really safe in it. I drip on it. I, I just don't care. You know. But all the rest, I'm just still kind of keeping in, keeping in low, lower risk uh, from my perspective. You know. I need a third screen now. Uh, because since I broadcast in, in X and other channel, it's hard to, uh, it, man, it's hard to monitor now. This is so many channels. It's crazy. Yeah, you should, you should ask Elon for a new screen for your X. Uh, nah, I, I can afford it. Get you a nice curve screen. Do you ever see the ones that curve? Those are nice. Yeah, I want to get that. Oh man, we're still 10 minutes away. Um, all right. Wow, I start I start the show way too early. <laughs> I start, I prep. I thought it's gonna take me it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to set up X, okay. but it literally took me only like a minute to get X the X uh, live broadcasting. So for those out there, I uh, I am broadcasting in YouTube and X. Uh, so just letting you all know that. Um, all right, this is this is awesome. Uh, on Sunday, I'm gonna try broadcast in Facebook and also in Twitch. So I'm gonna do all three platforms. All for all the platform. I used to do that for video gaming. It's a lot of fun. And. Uh, but video game, it's fun. I mean, you're playing games, so it's fun. But uh, here, here, we're just talking about finance and making money. So it's just something different. All right. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back for a second. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Apologize for that a little delay. Uh, everything is set up. This I'm really good. I'm just gonna do a quick con check in uh, Discord, not Discord in uh, YouTube. Jimmy want to know if if I have special guests on tonight. Is Jay coming on tonight? <laughs> uh, no, no, thank you. I, in a in, in a couple of years, if I'm still doing YouTube video in 2026, then all all bet is off. I mean, all bet is on. Uh, I mean. I I I will invite whoever I need. I do I'll do whatever I need to do, man. But prior to that, man, I just want to focus on my portfolio um, and just set me up, for, you know. They say that I'm the biggest J fanboy ever. Yeah, I guess so. I am the biggest J. I'm the biggest Yield Mac fanboys. That deal Mac doesn't even know. <laughs> doesn't even know that I exist. <laughs> well, I'm I'm a big fan of high yield dividends, all high yield dividends, and 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 th th there's a couple. I, I don't want to say they don't know. They they do know because they follow me on. Uh, some of them is in Discord with with us. Uh, some company, some of the uh, fund managers in Discord. I don't know if Jay is in our Discord. I don't. I never talked to Jay directly. But uh, I do have a uh, representative from Yield Max do follow me. It's kind of weird, but uh, and so um, yeah. So I don't. I, I'm pretty sure they probably know of me. It, yeah, let's let's talk about that. You know, let's talk about that for a second. Um, when when uh, when we go live, that's one of the opening topics. I don't. I, for most most of you do not realize, I don't have a topic, so I just talk about it, and I just talk about what's in my mind. And we'll talk about yield max, you know, like, you know, who who is their real customer? Yield max customer, who who are they, you know? And uh, I bet Jay would love to hear this conversation. Um, I don't I don't know I don't know either. I, I'm gonna ask the question, but I know there's a whole community that love yield max. Uh, our community love yield max a lot. I, I definitely had something to say about that. All right, yeah. I well, know exactly, exactly why I'm a yield max customer. I mean, uh, are you a yield max customer? Part, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I invest uh, yield max funds. Yeah. That's not what you're referring. That's, that's not what you're referring here. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you got me all confused today, man. <laughs> anyway, because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I feel I'm walking in the drops. I you can say now. I uh, hope I'm not coming out wrong. Uh, anyway, 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 back to what it was. Uh, yeah. So, well, uh, the show haven't started yet. Oh, we just, we just, we just tapping here. I, I don't know. And um, we got, we got a few. I just minutes. want to make sure. I just want to make sure what I'm saying it makes sense and maybe. You want you want it to be said or not? I'm not sure. So I'm kind of uh, right now the music is with your the music is kind of yeah. loud in my background, so I I can right. so I have a hard time understanding you. That's my fault because I have the music loud for a reason. Yeah. All right, man. We'll just wait. And then, yeah. So I guess one of the topic is yield max. I mean, we'll talk okay. about yield max. You know, like uh, who are the real customer? I mean, like you know. And because we're the, we're the biggest fanboy, you know, and uh, and number two, I'm gonna talk about my uh, my trip here that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go to New York City, and uh, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. And and third one is uh, you know, 
we're definitely gonna do a member portfolio. We'll, we'll do that, we'll do it right after I talk about New York City. Uh, okay. Members portfolio, and then, and then whatever topic come up, we'll, we'll talk about that too. These, these just, I'm just throwing some spitball ideas here. Um, yeah, so most people kinda, if, you, if you're watching my YouTube channel for the very first time, you're gonna realize that I don't script anything. Uh, I, matter of fact, I don't have any topics. I just, I just come in and have conversation and just talk. And the beauty of our show is really the conversation, not me monologuing, it's the conversation. And that's, that's the beauty of our show. It's us talking about high yield dividend investing, about investing, making money and stuff like that. Now we talk about other stuff too, but we, we try to focus on high yield dividends and that's pretty much it. That's all we want to talk about. And uh, all right, it's time to cut in at 6.59 and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over. And I'm so glad, live scene. Oh, look at that, right into my portfolio account. <laughs> all right, everyone's here. Let's, let's kick start this thing. I'm gonna hit record here in three seconds. Uh, Com check in uh, Discord, you all good? All right, everything's good. And YouTube, you're good also? All right, Orion said, yeah, hear you. And uh, let me just chat in, in YouTube so make sure it's good. Com check. All right. If you want to join the conversation, just click on the Discord and join the conversation. All right, we're gonna start the show here, and we are all I'm really excited about today tonight's show. Three, two, one, recording. Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is High Yield Dividend Warriors. We're the commands, and all we talk about is high yield dividends, how to make money. That's all we want to talk about. I mean, there's many, many other subjects. Yeah, we are extremely biased toward this conversation. Uh, you should be. If you're gonna do investment, you should be biased. And uh, because if we, if we were talking about, if we are a comic books fan, we, we should be talking about comic books. If we're a baseball card fan, we should be talking about baseball card. And all we talk about is baseball card. But no, we're, we're high yield dividends warriors. We, we're, we're trying to make money, get rich through high yield dividends. And that's what we want to do and that's what we want to talk about. So yeah. Uh, so two accountants just asked me the first question. said, how are you tonight? Oh my God, I am so excited, so happy. The reason why I'm so excited is that I, I'm doing multicasting broadcasts for the first time in a long time. I used to do this back in the day when I was playing video games. So when I was playing video game, broadcasting game, I used to broadcast in Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, everything everything and anything out there. But then I should stop because, and then I start talking about high yield, uh, about investment. When I talk about investment, you don't really need to do multicasting. But one thing I never done is stream in, in X. So since ever since, ever since Elon bought this X, uh, now it make me want to stream. I, 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 you know, I'm part of the blue check mark now. It's pretty cool. I. You know, and uh, and so now I'm broadcasting X, and on Sunday I'm gonna broadcast in Facebook and Twitch also. I'm gonna I'm gonna set that account up. I used to do that back in the day, and it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing multicasting broadcast. It's not cheap, by the way. For those who, for those who want to go into broadcasting, that's not a cheap endeavor because you're paying over a hundred something dollars a month, not not a year, month. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so uh, so be prepared for that if you. Uh, uh, all right, yeah. So one of the questions people ask me all the time: What is that music in the background? That is Twenty One K-pop group Two and E One. Let me just, and the name of the song is "Go Away." All right, Two and E One. Go away. I do not recommend you play this music in the background because you're gonna get demonetized because the. 21 is a very popular, it's one of the most popular K-pop group in the world. And it's also one of the most popular song in the world, this song right here in the background. So yeah, so if you play this song, you're pretty much gonna get demonetized. Uh, do I care about it? No, not really. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't care about it. Because why? 
I keep telling people all the time, um, I'm going to get rich not because of YouTube, not because of X, not because of streaming and stuff like that. I'm going to get rich because of my portfolio. I am determined to go that route. Uh, I'm determined to make money this way because I want to get successful in this because this is the money I have to live in. I'm not planning to make YouTube video five, ten years from now. I'm not planning to make YouTube video when I'm traveling on vacation. I want to generate passive income and this is it. That, that link is to Discord. I'm sending a link to Discord if you want to join the conversation. Yeah. If you want to join the conversation. All right. Yeah, this is how I want to get rich. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and kill this music here. I'm going to switch over to a different type of music. So it's, uh, it's more chill, more easier, and it's a better tune. All right. That's my intro music. And... Uh, All right, good. See you later, Minzy, CL, Sandra Park. Yeah, good music though. I love, I love them. And now I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play Lofty. Now I, I, you know, some people don't like the music in the background; it annoys them. Uh, but I just want to tell you that the music in the background is what. Um, is what give me motivation to do these kind of things because I came from gaming platforms. So when you play a video game, you have music. They have techno music and all that stuff. And in Twitch, when people give give you money, there's actual music and light and all that stuff come on in Twitch. It's fun. Like Twitch, when people give you uh, coin, they go ding ding ding, and then you see coin dropping everywhere. You see money coming in, and it, it's it's a lot of fun. And then you see, and a lot of a lot of the stream, and they start dancing, they start doing all kinds. Of, stuff you know uh but i don't do that i just i just say hey thanks and appreciate it man thanks for the coin but there's people out there that that start dancing you know to techno music um if you watch any of the twitch girl yeah you you give them coin they do some other stuff it's, it's crazy man twitch is twitch is no longer family friendly man before that's where you go play video game you want to watch minecraft you want all that stuff it, it's fun i used to watch a lot of halo uh, but then, and then it just, it just, now it's crazy. It's just crazy now. I, 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 I can't even, I can't even recommend anyone to go watch Twitch now, you know. But that's my plan. I'm planning to do broadcasting on Twitch because that's the world I came in. It's a lot of fun. I, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing live broadcasting and, and, um, now I don't know if X people can actually communicate with me. I'm going to see if I can switch over to X real quick and see if anybody willing to talk to me. So how do I see chat and Twitch? I guess not. <laughs> All right, let me, let me type something in Twitch. Uh, good evening. And I'm gonna post, uh, join Discord to join the conversation. I'm gonna click. Uh, I just post something in Twitch. They're right there. Uh, I'm not on Twitch, uh, Twitter, and uh, an X or Twitter X or whatever you want to call it. It's Twitter. Um, so hey, uh, for all those who's watching me on on Twitter or X, uh, welcome. Hey, welcome to the community. Uh, I'm I'm proud of you guys. I'm glad because you know we're talking about high yield dividends. We're gonna talk about how to make money. How I make money, not you know. Oh, how we later on. In the show, we're gonna look at member portfolio. These are the members in 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 my in our community, and uh, and we're gonna talk about their portfolio. You're gonna some of you are gonna be very surprised, and what you're gonna find out, we're gonna have a range of spectrum. There's some people with a lot of money, and some people just starting out. And you know, our YouTube channel, our show, our community focus mostly on new investor, brand new investor, hardworking people who's trying to figure out how to have backup plan for their plan, and and we're using high yield dividends as a, as their backup plan, essentially to generate income. Not not for fire. A lot of people keep thinking we're part of the fire community, financial independent, retire early. No, these are hardworking people that may not have a 401k. Some of them are immigrants. Some of them can't even speak English. Some of them just came to the United States, and they are trying to figure out how to make money and get 
you know, so they can get out of the out of the situation they're in. Imagine you're a dishwasher at a Chinese restaurant. Imagine you're a forklift operator in, at Walmart. Imagine you're a, sh a shopping cart at, at, at a grocery store somewhere. Imagine you work at a railroad track. Imagine you uh, work on a roof or a bus driver or, or a substitute teacher. Um, just imagine all this job that barely pay you $30,000 a year. And they don't even have a 401k plan. They don't even have life insurance. They don't have anything. If they get injured, or they, they don't get paid. Imagine you're a cleaner at a parking lot. Every single person I just mentioned here, they're in our Discord right now. Let me double check that. I'm, I'm having a look at Discord. I want to make sure. Uh, is, uh, is the parking lot guy here, the cleaner? <laughs> the way is he in? We have truck driver. We have a lot of truck driver. A lot of truck driver follow us. All right? Um, yeah, for a reason. Because, because we do long format show and they, they just sit there and watch and listen to drive. Yeah. Uh, Michael Anthony said SoFi CEO was on Kramer's show last night which he said going to save on interest rate which will save over 60 million in interest I, I have no idea what I mean uh, I'll come back we'll come back and talk about that Michael Anthony uh, yeah so you know this show is, is that uh, you've got a lot of people and, uh, and you don't have to subscribe there's no e-guy. There's no nothing. Uh, the only reason why I have this a membership is essentially to hide my uh, my my travel food. Bef before my YouTube channel used to be food, travel, and all that stuff. I just moved that to the member. That's all of it. I just move the food, travel, uh, you know, uh, music, culture, and all that stuff to the members. If you want to know about my personal life, and but it had nothing to do with investment. And essentially, that's where my friends and family hang out. You know, they just hang out there. And uh, but this community, it's free. And and all we talk about is high yield dividends or dividends to generate income. Uh, it's very simple. And and there's you don't have to subscribe. There's no class. There's nothing. I, I'm not an expert. Um, none of us an expert here. Uh, where we where we learn from each other is the conversation. The conversation is how we learn what to do with our our money, and so the collective effort is is what driving us forward. And um, I never went to school for this stuff. I never worked. Just think about this. I uh, Rex Shea invite me to New York. All right. I I was talking to the executive there, and I said I don't even have a suit, dude. And he's like. And I told him, I said, don't worry about it. I mean, I, I make pretty good money. I, I, I'm going to go buy a suit. I don't even have a suit. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I don't even have a business suit. So, yeah, because I never work in that environment. Why would I need to buy a business suit? So, uh, so now now I'm going to get a suit. I'm going to show up and uh, <laughs> look at least presentable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, uh, you know, uh, with my portfolio and my journey, I started my journey in January in 2023, and it's been amazing, an amazing journey. All right, there's there's two topic I want to talk about, and then we're gonna transition to the member portfolio. How do you become a member? Where do we hang out? Where does the Khmer people hang out? We hang out in Discord. That's why we use Discord because Discord we can exchange files, photo, videos. We can talk, and there's a forum. So that's where we all hang out. We hang out in Discord. So click on the link and you can come to Discord. And or you can come to my YouTube channel and click on this link right here. And that will take you to Discord. And that's where we hang out, right? <laughs> and uh, and so if you want to join us. And there's no membership. There's no rule. When you come into Discord, you're going to re realize real quickly it's open. We have no leaders. We have no. We have moderators. We have a lot of moderators. Our Discord is heavily moderated. We have probably more moderated than any other Discord combined. And... And people getting banned left and right. Not I, sometimes I don't even know who who they what happened to them. They just I'm talking to them all of a sudden they disappear. Like what happened? Uh, so yeah, we have we're heavily moderated. Uh, it's good because we want to focus on high yield dividends. If you talk about anything else other than high yield dividends, we're probably going to ask you to leave, or we're just going to ban you if you don't leave. You know, so one way or the other. And uh, so one of the first topic I want to talk about is uh, yield max customer. Um, like who is yield Mac customer? I, I don't, I'm at the point, like, I don't know who's yield Mac customer is because 
when I first start out this journey, uh, all these high yield like Rec Share, Yield Max, Defiance, when I first start off, I thought I thought their customer was institution. Like, you know, I don't know, you know, hedge funds, people, uh, you know, teacher unions, you know, police union, city, state, you know, pension plan. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that, but then somewhere down the line, somebody educate me on, on option trading. They're like, no, hedge fund manager have their own option trading. They just do their own option trading. They don't need to pay J or, and, and yield max, you know, money. And then, and then they charge them 1% when they can do it themselves. So a lot of hedge fund manager do their own option trading. And a lot of these option trading were not open to the public, not open to the mass. So. Yeah, so I didn't know that. I, I, my, my speculation was when I first started this journey, I'm thinking, that's his customer. I'm like, why don't these people jump in it? The reason why I start asking that question, or the reason why I'm not talking about it, is this. When you watch Jay interview, when you watch all his interview, uh, especially on the, on the big network, like MSNBC, Fox News, Business News, all those like Bloomberg type kind of channel, those news people, they tend to talk, they, they're very neutral when he's in the studio. But when they're not in the news, when they when he's not in the studio, they talk very negative. Like I have never. Let me just challenge you this perspective. I want to challenge the people in this way. If you have a clip, if you have a clip of any of those mainstream news that talk positive about high yield dividends, especially yield max, let me know. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one. Like every one of them, every every talking head, they all talk about, it's all very negative, very negative. Like they don't believe in it. Like they, like it's anti, it's like, it's crazy. But but when Jay's in the studio or when Sivian's in the studio, they tend to be like, oh yeah, yeah, it works. You know, they they, they, they just hum and, and, and nod and, and smile and, and they're polite. But when they're not in the studio, all those talking heads, all those mainstream, they talk very negative about all these fun. It's crazy. Like all these so-called experts, they, they talk very negative about them. Now, if, if now, like I said, I don't watch all the news out there, but I haven't seen one. If you see one that talk about po that, that say something positive about yield max or defiance or, you know, uh, any of these high yield dividends, let me know. But especially yield max, if you see anything on yield max, let me know. I, I haven't seen that clip. I haven't seen that video. I would love to listen to that video that somebody talked about positive because therefore they align with me because we're, we're, we're obviously all high yield dividends or obviously we're all fanboys, so it's a little bit different. So the, the question I ask is who is Jay's customer? Who, who, who is his customer? Who is Jill Mac customer? Does anybody know that answer? I'm, I'm just curious on that. Does anybody in Discord know that answer? Anybody want to speculate? Oh, wow. There's a lot of message in Discord here. Let me click on Discord real quick. Uh, go ahead, guys. Just unmute your unmute your mic and just... Uh, un unmute your mic and say it. Uh, and say what you need to say. I'm gonna jump in. Yep. Okay, I'm being heard. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're live. You're live right now, Don. Go ahead. All right. All right. Just uh, sound check, you know. Uh, so, hi, good evening to everyone watching, listening. Um, so, you know, <laughs> well, you know, as far as what you're saying, uh, you know, the yield my cast uh, customer, like, you know, as far as the big uh, headline here, like, you know, I don't know who's the major customer here, but I just can say for myself, uh, you know, starting uh, investing in some of the yield net funds, uh, for example, AMZ, you know, I'm very, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm dripping on AMZ right now. I feel very safe investing in it. I see that it's doing very well compared to the underlying. 
to the stock uh, compared, you know, I see it's pretty safe, even though it's not one of the highest uh, yielding ones comparing to the other ones. They are more volatile, of course, that creates more yield. But it's, it, you know, it's still a high yield. And, you know, for me, as someone who has a history with, with Amazon, which is, you know, the underline yeah. for Am Amazon. Was when I first started. Uh, give, give me a second, Nico. You are you are your open mic right now. Uh, chaos, your open mic. I'll give you a chance yeah. to talk, but let let Don say first. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm trying to shorten stuff. Um, let let everyone else, uh, you know, uh, buzz in. Okay. Hey, Don. Uh, I, I appreciate so... it. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you do you do you want to say something more? I'm sorry. I apologize. Just cut you I, off. I just I'm I'm gonna say you know the, as for me being the for example you know the whole being yield my customer for example is mm -hmm. I find really cool uh, making high yield dividends on stocks and companies I really like from the first place for example which did which don't generate uh, dividends or high yield dividends in the first place for example Amazon. Okay. So if I can generate high yields from Amazon, um, which is a business I'm, I really believe in. So for me, you know, yeah, you 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 can call me. That's one example of why you know I can believe in in what the the fund is doing uh, as far as AMZ goes. AMZ Y. Okay. Uh, well, same goes for the other funds, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate it, Don. Uh, thank you. So the question I'm asking is, who is Jay's customer? And I start off in the opening monologue that Jay, you know, when I first started off, I thought Jay customer was was the institution, you know, like all these hedge fund manager. What I find now, it's really not. And then, and then when you watch the mainstream media, all they do is uh, all they do is talk bad about yield max and and high yield dividends. Uh, so it seemed like it seemed like out the customer is very very simple. I I know I, I think I know the answer because, uh, but I'm just curious what your take on that. Uh, who is J, who is Yield Max customer? Who when they talk about high yield dividends, who who are they talking to? Chaos. There, do you want to say something? Go ahead because you have your mic unmute. Chaos. Uh, Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? If you're talking, I can, we cannot hear you at all. All right. Uh, since we cannot hear you, go ahead and mute mute your mic and uh, and and Nico is Nico in here? Uh, Nico just left. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna server mute uh, chaos. Chaos, I just mute you. Um, okay, does there's, does anybody want to answer that question um, before? Who is who is J customer? Who is Yield Max customer? In Discord, um, good stuff. Keep chilling. High yield dividends and get invited to industry events. Laugh out loud. Good stuff. Keep chilling. <laughs> shilling. Good stuff. Keep shilling. High yield dividends. I don't know what I mean by shilling. Uh, daily uh, bed diem. I don't know what that means. Uh, could always wear your dress blues. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can always do no, I wouldn't wear trust blues to that kind of event. That's kind of crazy. Um, all right, posting first. He's talking about we are his customer. Yeah, that's right. That's my theory on it. Jay and Yale Max, if you're out there watching, guess who's your customer is? Us. All of us here. Um, you know, in, in the YouTube space. We're the mass. We're the people that watch, buy your uh, funds and talk about your fun. We are your biggest fanboys. Uh, we we talk about you all the time. We talk. We watch all your videos, pretty much all your video, all your interview, and uh, we talk about yield max and not just yield max, but all uh, high yield dividend, including defiance, including severe. Uh, yeah. So so us, we're your customer. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know enough about the industry, but however, it it feel that way. And this cost the the customer base, the mass media. The ma not mass media, the mass, the, 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 you know, the average Joe put, you know, $600 million, $800 million into Tesla. 
it gave you two billion dollars worth of investment. So uh, <laughs> I guess it works, right? Yeah, the retail investor, uh, Youngquist, just said Caden Youngquist, right? No one hamburger said, raise your hand if you think anyone in the mainstream media tell the truth about anything. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. His customer are those that are retired, going to retire, dislike their job, and want a replacement income. Yep, that's all of us here. You hit nail on the head. <clears throat> so public said, my guess for yield Mac customer would be people without the knowledge, time, or capital to trade option themselves. It's also more passive. Even really good option trader can only manage to so many uh, so many trades. Yeah. One thing one thing I learned since I started this journey, uh, Yale Max and Jay, if you're out there listening, uh, is that this fun is a game changer. It truly is a game changer. Uh, not only it's it's a game changer, but it saves lives, and I talk about that all the time. Because what in the world of investment, there are people out there are very successful and doing really well, and they're making money. And there's people out there just starting out. And there's a lot of people like us who, who come from, who, who, who work at a job, they're making maybe less than $30,000 a year uh, because that's, you know, thirty dollars to $40,000 a year. That's the average incomes uh, in, in the United States. And these guys are making that money. And they work in labor job. They're, they're delivering trucks, uh, delivering food, uh, Uber driving. They work on, on the street. They're street cleaning. Uh, they're lifting box at a at a warehouse somewhere. They they, uh, they work at Walmart, uh, you know, pushing carts. Um, they clean you know parking lots. Uh, they work on the railroad tracks. Police officer on the night shift, nurses, janitor at the hospitals, substitute teachers. You know all these all these jobs I mentioned. All these jobs I mentioned they're in our Discord. Every single of those people exists in our Discord right now. All right. And, uh, and, and, and military people like me, I'm, I'm a military guy. And so there's all kinds of type of people and uh, not everybody has a job where they get salary. So if they get injured, they're not going to get paid. They get paid hourly. They get paid as they perform the work. So if they don't go to work, they don't get paid. That's just the way it is. And some of them don't have a 401k plan. They don't have a retirement plan. You know, they don't have anything. But what they have is when they when they were watching YouTube video, they saw my YouTube, and they were like, "Wow, this there's a backup plan. I can I can I can do this. I can I can have a backup plan. Yeah. What we're doing what we're doing is trying to replicate our income. So it's not a lot. We're not asking to make two million dollar, ten million dollar. No, it's just to replicate our income." If you're making thirty thousand dollars, that's all. They're, they're replicating thirty thousand dollars. If you're making sixty thousand, replicating sixty thousand. If you make one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, you're making. You try and replicate one hundred twenty thousand a year. That's all we're trying to do, and 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 how do we do it at the shortest time? We don't want to wait five years, ten years, twenty years. We want to do it at the shortest time. So, so that's why we. That's why when I when I went to this. Uh, investment vehicle and I was like I'm trying to figure out how how can I get a whole community uh, get them out of poverty you know like how do, how do I get how do we make money in a really short time well the best thing to do is go into dividends income investing passive income dividends within the dividend world there's low yield dividends and there's high yield dividends and we're looking at high yield dividends a high yield dividend change Everything change everything. It changed the conversation. Jay and Yield Max and Defiance and Rex Shares and uh, Curves, all those guys, you're changing the conversation live, like real time. You're changing it. And there's people who believe in it. And there's people who don't believe in it. People who believe in it, they're they're throwing it. They're throwing their money in it. People who don't believe in it, they they don't believe in it. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what you say; they're just not going to believe in it. They they think yield max is a scam. They think uh, high yield dividends is a failure. 
It's going to fail. It's going to corrupt. We hear that all the time. And they always say, look at NAV erosion. Look at capital appreciation. If you put on the underlining, we hear everything. We hear everything. We hear, we, we take the blunt of all the drama that, I don't know. I don't know if they complain to you, but they complain a lot to me. I don't know why. Of all the YouTubers, they always like to complain to me. The one guy who does not know anything about div investing, and but they like to complain to me. All right. And, and so, but what they don't see is this. What they don't see is what I'm sharing with you all. I'm sharing with everybody. Tell that to the guy who cleaned parking lot in Arizona. Tell that to him. He cleaned parking lots. And that's and he, that's his main job. And then he, he cleaned the toilet at the, at the parking lot. And all he does is go around sweeping parking lot. And then he got another job. He got two jobs. But, but guess what? Because he's a good father and a good husband, he's still going to work. And if he ever get injured, his family doesn't get food. His high yield dividend investment, his high yield dividend investment, the income they generate from that is more than his salary at, from both job combined. And I tell the story about the teacher all the time. And, uh, you know, she, her husband can't work because he's a disabled vet. And all she wants to do is go on dates with her husband. And they're, they're in their 70. And she wants to spend the, ne the last remaining time on this planet with her husband. And she wants to go on dates. But she can't. They don't have enough money. His his pension and his his retirement plan could only pay for the house, the car, and, and gas, and the basic stuff, but they don't have enough money to go on dates. So she had to go to work. So she worked as a substitute teacher. Substitute teacher doesn't make a lot. They only make money when they go work as a substitute. If they don't work, they don't they don't get paid. And uh, so she go to work. And when she found out my YouTube channel, she essentially buy, bought everything that I bought. And she made about $1,000 a month from Tesla, and she was so happy. She told me all the time. You know, now she can spend time with her husband. She don't need to go to work. That's all she need. She don't need any any more, any less. She just need 1000 a month, and she guess what? And she just take that money, and, and she just cash it out. She don't even put the money back in. Like, you know, Jay's always talk about put the money back in, reinvest. No, she's just spending the money. She would draw the money and she spent it. This investment vehicle literally changed people's lives. And it's been, it's been a powerful, powerful vehicle. It give people a fighting chance. It give people a chance. It give people a chance to be successful, to get out of the situation they're in. Because if they don't invest, if they don't invest, when they wake up tomorrow, it's going to be the same as yesterday. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the same pain, same problem, and they're going to suffer the same same way. And that's why they that's why they're in it. That's why they're in it. They're looking for a way to get out of this situation. That's why we're in it. That's why we buy Yield Max. That's your customer. And there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. A lot of us buying into high yield dividends and and generating incomes. Okay. There essentially there are two type of people out there. It come down to this. Either you believe in high yield dividends or you don't believe in high yield dividends. If you believe in high yield dividends, that that's all the people in our community. But if you don't believe in high yield dividend, it, it doesn't matter what we say because they think it's they think it's bad. They think it's not gonna it's not gonna be good. But I'm gonna make a case for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a case. I'm gonna tell you why we all in it. All right? So I'm gonna show you my portfolio real quickly. And every time I show people my portfolio, the first thing they see is this red number here and they, and they get allergic reaction. They're like, oh my God, he's losing a lot of money and it's a failure. This is the market condition. The market condition is that Tesla's down, therefore Tesla is down, that's why I'm down. That's it. If Tesla's up and Tesla's up, guess what? I'm gonna be green because you look at the rest of my portfolio, it's pretty much green, all right? Every time you see one here, that means I open the position. Eventually, I'm gonna get 20 share, 40 share, 100 share, and 500 shares, just like Coney. 
But if you combine my portfolio together, <clears throat> all of it, I generate about six thousand over six thousand of income. Last month, I generate six thousand a month of income. <clears throat> six thousand a month of income. I'm on my way to seven thousand. That number is not decreasing. That number is going up. Every month it's going up. I'm on pace right now to get ten thousand by the end of the year. And guess what? I don't have to contribute my money anymore. I stopped putting money. I stop. I stop putting my salary money into my portfolio since January. I'm just living off the dividends that I received. That's what I'm investing back in is the dividends I received. I don't have to put my own money in anymore. What make what make high yield dividend different from crypto, from growth and from all those things is this. If you were to buy you know the index, let's say QQQ, great investment vehicle great opportunity back in the day you want to do that back before high yield dividends that's how i would invest it i would put all my money into qqq all my money into the index the s p 500 and grow 15 percent and then get you know two three million dollars out of that and then take that money sell it four percent when i retire or i take that money and buy dividends you know because now i have two three million dollars worth of portfolio that's 10, 20 years from now. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. Number one, I don't have 10, 20 years lifespan. I'm not a 19-year-old or 20-year-old man. I don't have, a majority of us, we don't have that kind of lifespan, right? Number two, we have something called income problem because if we don't go to work, we don't have any money to put into our contribution. So you have to, you have, to have income. So... The first question, every time somebody asks me about growth and stuff like that, I say, well, where do you get the income to buy QQQ? Where do you get that money? Well, it's coming from your paycheck, from your hardworking paycheck. And if, you're, if your baseline average salary is less than $40,000 a year, the average salary in America, guess what? You're not making a lot of money. You're not, you're just not. So that's the problem that run into. That that's the pro that's why people don't invest. Because it take a long time to get somewhere. They they, they just take a long time and people just don't have the patience for it. In the meantime, they have to be a father, they have to be a husband, they have to, to take their kids to the hospital, take their kids to school, they have to buy lunch at at a $30,000 salary. The plus they have to put gas money and all that stuff at a $30,000 salary and they have to do all those things. So dividend and, and so investing, buying growth stock, buying crypto, buying all those things, it's a fairy tale for some of them. They just they just don't have the money to do it. But what happened with high yield dividends by by when we go after high yield dividends, the high yield dividend is new. It's a new space. It's not an old space, it's a new space. It's only a year old. And I came in the right time. I came in the perfect time, the best time. Prior to that, there's there's not high yield. I mean, you have Coca-Cola paid three percent. You got SCHD paid another three percent, four percent. You got Realty Income paid me eight percent. Maybe Jeppy paid twelve percent. But anything over twelve percent, you're talking about you're talking about uh, uh, essentially dividend trap. You're, you're essentially, you're running into all kinds of problems. So no one dare to go over 12%. You're like 20%, no way. I'm not going there. I'm not going anywhere near there. So what happened is when 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 Yield Max came on scene, I, I opened my child swap account. I'm brand new. I'm a military guy. I opened child swap account, kabam. And then I searched, I searched for, you know, uh, you know, I didn't even know what an ETF is. I didn't even know what a high yield dividend is. I, you know, I, well, I knew what dividend is, but I didn't know there was a high such thing as a high yield dividend. But when I search, when I search my ETF, I saw something called Tesla, and it was during the time it was paying like ninety nine cents. Like what? What stocks out there paying ninety nine cents? And that's where my journey started, and that's when it became very beautiful. 
We're generating cash flow. That's what we're trying to do, generate cash flow. We want to generate cash flow where we don't have to use our money to buy QQQ, buy crypto, to buy whatever. What we're trying to do, the first step we're trying to do is generate cash flow to have a backup plan, to have a insurance to our current job. That's the first plan, is to, to generate cash flow to have insurance to our current job. The second thing is to generate cash flow in the case of emergency. In case of emergency, guess what? I, I don't, I, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna withdraw this money and, and, and spend it whatever I need. And the third one is to generate wealth. And that's what we're trying to do. Generate option for us to buy something. If I if I able to get two thousand, three thousand a month from uh, from Yield Max, guess what? I can take that money and put into. I can buy anything. I can buy QQQ. I can buy crypto. I can buy whatever I want to buy. But I'm using the dividends money to buy it. I'm not using my my check money, my my hard earned money. That's the key point. And I'm growing this fund. I'm growing this fund. Every month I'm putting money into it, keep growing it. All right, somebody just sent me a message. Let's read that. Anybody in Discord want to jump in and uh, and have join me in the conversation? All right. Um, so somebody has an open mic chaos, K H A O S. I think you've been warned. Uh, the community just kind of, you, you have an open mic. We, we tell you to, uh, close the mic. Can you, can you no. close? Jameer, if you give me the power, I will just shut anybody down who interferes like this. All right. Uh, congratulations, Bill Betts. You just became a moderator. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Just, just get rid of them. Thank you, uh, Chaos. Hey, appreciate it. But you, you have an open mic, man. You just gotta mute. And if you don't mute, then it, it just, it just, uh, what do you call it? Discord etiquette? Uh, it, it just, yeah. All right, Bill Betts. I just, I just gave you moderator. Uh, or Lion. Somebody can just remove him, please, or mute him. Hey, retired dividends. Good to see you, all of you. Uh, I'm gonna pause here for a second uh, before I continue on, um, and. Let me just go back and read some of the text message here that people been posting in chat. Does anybody agree or disagree? Anybody want to jump in what I just said? Uh, fiscal philosophy. Well, let's see. What, he, what is he talking about? Uh, fiscal philosophy. Let me. Wow. He posts a lot. All right, I gotta go all the way to the beginning. All right, uh, Sheila mean promoting something for dubious reason. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, there's no free lunch in the market. If, if it was easy to replicate income this quick, Warren Buffett would just have put all the Berkshire cash into it. Wow, physical philosophy, you, you're not very smart at all. All right, here, here. I, I don't even know who this guy is. I, I read two sentences and he's, he doesn't sound very smart. Uh, uh, actually, if it, if it stays sideways, the pre, premium go down because of low volatility. Right, and he doesn't do YM strategy. I don't know what he's talking about there. Uh, Buffett sold put on KO, tons of them. For example, one of his big option play, I do that too. It doesn't generate zillion, you know, good underlining, undervalue. Uh, belief doesn't make something work. Wow, I have no idea what's going on. Did did he get banned? Oh, I was just in the middle of reading. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> well, you gotta let's just let me read it first, and then, then ban him. I I was in the middle of reading it. All right, hey, uh, physical philosophy. Um, hey, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I, I was just reading your message. I, I even got to the point where you got banned. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, apparently you got banned. So, because your, your message is gone. 
Uh, well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it, and uh, and take care, man. I will never see each other again. So, good luck with your with your with your journey. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there that do not like high yield dividends, and I don't know why. Uh, I I don't know why they can't accept the fact that why don't you do you and we do us? I mean, we it's our portfolio. And why they're so concerned, why they, they feel the need to be a white knight and come and save and rescue us. I never understand for the million years. Go get your own YouTube channel. Matter of fact, there's so many other YouTube channels out there. Go and harass them. Those guys know what they're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a, I never work in this stuff. I just know what I want to do and I'm talking about it and that's all, <laughs> you know. Hey, uh. Go talk to retired dividends, man. He loves, uh, you know, he knows more about investment than I do. Go talk to THB. Go talk to uh, Unconventional Wealth. They all do exactly like we all buy our year dividend, retired dividend. Would you want to take this gentleman? Uh, fiscal philosophy. Uh, no, thanks. I don't need to debate with you. Uh, I, why am I going to debate with you? you? You can win, dude. You can win the debate. Good luck. I I don't I don't need to win. You, you I don't. Yeah, you can win the debate. Good luck, man. <laughs> the harassment is real. I blocked so many command impersonators on Discord. It's actually comical at this point. Wow, wow. I I didn't realize there's that many uh, impersonator. Oh, I, I reason got out of them. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, let me talk about New York City. Um, so next week, sometime, sometime next week, uh, I'm going to be uh, driving. I'm doing a cross-country drive. I haven't driven this long in a while. Uh, I was going to fly to New York because I'm going to go visit my parents. But since, I, uh, since I've been invited to this function by RecShare, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and visit. I got a hotel. And it's within walking distance, so I'm gonna walk there, uh, so I don't have to worry about getting drunk or anything like that. You know, uh, I don't drink, so by the way, so I, I mean, I drink like during the Super Bowl, I drink at a wedding, uh, I drink on a few places, but I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not even a social drinker. But, um, but I'm gonna go and socialize and hang out. I, I got, I got my suit, and. And, and I'm gonna go and check it out. And I don't know anything about investment. Uh, I, I'm hoping to meet other investors. So if you if you are going to this party, looking forward to see you. Looking forward to see all of you. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna make a video of it afterward. And I'm gonna make some video on my journey getting up there. And uh, when I pass through, I'm thinking about, I gotta I got hit Philadelphia. There's a great Cambodian restaurant in Philadelphia on 7th Street. First of all, if you're in Philadelphia, do not go to 7th Street. Unless you grew up in Philadelphia, do not go into 7th Street. It is the ghettoest place in in the world. It's high crime, and this is where a lot of immigrants. I, I'm comfortable there because my family's there, and uh, I got you know, I got family grew up there. And so, uh, if you're not Cambodian, if you're not if you're not Asian, you don't want to go in 7th Street. <laughs> I took my girl. I took my girl to Seventh Street one time in Philadelphia. That's that. That's what we call it. But there's a whole area of it. Oh my God! She got so scared. She wouldn't come out of the car. She got so scared. I say, like, I say, like, honey, you got to go to the Cambodian restaurant. Let's go get some food. And she's like, no, no, I'm not coming out of the car. This is this is crazy. I like this. There's, there's like people dealing drugs in the middle of the street. I'm like, yeah, that's what that's what living in the ghetto is like. <laughs> Oh, retired dividend? You want to? Are you are you in New York City? I. You. I didn't. I didn't even know you were in New York City. Dude, if you, if if you in New York City, I'm in New York City. I'll swing by. I'll swing by. Uh, say hi. If, I mean, if you're okay, we can meet somewhere. And I, you know, make it easy for you because you have a family. Uh, I, I didn't know, I didn't know you in New York City. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would love to meet you, uh, man. Me and Re oh, you're in New Jersey. Okay, you're close by. Yeah, we. Um, are you close to an EV charging station? You know, for Tesla. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow, uh, we can, we can, yeah, I can swing by. I mean, if, if, if you want to, I can swing by and get some cup of coffee. We'd we'll love, we we'll do live broadcast right there. Now I'm traveling on Sunday because it's a Monday event. So I'm traveling on Sunday. So it, it's, uh, I'm, I'm driving up, you know, up north. So it's going to be, it's going to be what I'm leaving. Like I'm leaving, uh, early in the, uh, essentially, essentially Sunday morning. Oh, I will be away and gone, Miss Rexia Pari. Okay. Well, retiring dividends. Uh, I will. I will. I will take some pictures. I will let you know how it's going. I've never been to these party. I have no idea. I've never been to these kind of parties, so I have no idea what's going on. And uh, I, I would love to uh, love to meet. Uh, and I can't say more than this because, you know, Rexia said, you know, don't talk about it. Uh, I'll wait until at the end, uh, but I'm invited to another event. So uh, that's all I can say. And uh, I'm, I can't wait to see that event, but I'll definitely make a video on it. That event is, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting too. So, uh, you know, it's amazing. You know, uh, for those who don't know this, uh, Rex Share been in our Discord since August. Uh, oh, oh, he's been in our Discord for a long time now, four or five months now. And he's been anonymous. He's just hanging out in our Discord and just listen to us and just having conversation and just enjoying the atmosphere. And he's... And um, now, you know, and he's just been anonymous, just hang out, fly on the wall and just enjoying it. And once in a while, he sent me a message and say, hey, good, good shows and good conversation. And, and, and that's it. And, and you notice I never once invite him to come on live shows. I never once recorded, you know, never once, you know, uh, because that's not who we are. It's not important. Uh, it's not important at all, because what we want to talk about is our portfolio and to advance our portfolio. Yeah, retiring dividends, that's awesome, man. Oh, you know what the event is? Retiring dividends? Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. I, I would love to meet you there, man. Uh, you can critique my my uh, my suit. I bought this suit. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, you know. But uh, you can critique it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, wow, you, I didn't know you know the event. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, I apologize. This is not really good YouTubing when I'm monologuing. I'm reading from the chat and there's no dialogue, there's no conversation. And uh, so I apologize for that. But unfortunately, we, we are here, we are. Um, does anybody want to jump in and have conversation? Uh, are you shocked that Rex Shears, how many of you in our Discord was aware that Rex Shears been hanging out in Discord for a while now? Anybody in Discord want to say, Col Colby, uh, let me ask a newer member. Colby, are, are you tracking that by any chance? Do you know that? Uh, yeah, I, I remember you mentioning it um, in previous live streams. Um, again, I don't know who he is. Yeah. Uh, I know, I mean, I know who he is. I don't know what, who he is in Discord. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I've heard uh, quite a few times that, um, him and um i think you said jay's in here as well um under an anonymous name so, no not jay i i oh jay's not no oh yeah i i knew i knew the the rec share guy is here anonymous um yeah yeah it's good stuff yeah they've been they've been hanging out on discord for a while and they they listen to our conversation in in they jump in and and just and uh, it's it's great, you know. It's just good. To, I thought it's I thought it was very smart uh, to get into the grassroots of things. Uh, also, I'm not intrusive, you know. I, I never once ask him to come on on live. I say, hey, do you want to? Can I make a video on this? You know, can can we talk about this? I never ask him any question, uh, you know. Uh, so I just I just and I just like, hey, just come in, fly on the wall, enjoy the atmosphere. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, you know, there's other Discord community. There's other people you can hang out. Uh, we're not the only one. Uh, and and I always welcome them all to come hang out. And it's great to see at the grassroots level, like who is who is actually buying your fund? Who's actually buying FEPI, F-E-P-I? You know, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the good thing about it is that uh, you can get uh, feedback yeah. Uh, from uh, the fellow investors, you know, about uh, 
all the funds and uh, he can get um, everything directly from us, from the retail investors. Yeah. And being with us, listen to us, and maybe listen to other needs, maybe investment needs. Maybe they can innovate and create new vehicles, you know, new investment funds. Mm -hmm to maybe help to to do something more innovative and and also what i want to say there's a lot of competition in this space as you can see there are so many options now available yeah so they're doing great job to kind of of you know commingle with the retail investors in order to get feedback and to kind of to be competitive makes sense yeah yeah, so I think this is the good stuff. I think my opinion, Kamer. Oh, I, yeah. I agree with you, Lion. Uh, you know, especially mainstream media doesn't help them either. Like I was, like I challenged everyone at the beginning of the video. Have you seen a, a, a media, mainstream media, like, you know, Bloomberg, you know, uh, you know, Fox Business News, MSNBS News, all those, all those uh, finance channels. Uh, that talk positive about high yield dividends, especially uh, yield max. Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, every time I watch them, it's always like, who the heck are these guys? Why are they the expert? Why are they talking trash about yield max? I don't understand. And that's my reaction. It's always been my reaction. They always, there's always people out there talking trash about yield max. It just, it just, it break my heart uh, that that you know these so-called expert, you know, instead of doing you know logical analysis. But yet they want to trash it. Lion, do you want to? Did you have you seen anything like that, or you, you know what? I'm yeah, saying? you're right. I think that the media, I mean, they are focusing on the regular traditional investments, and they are not uh, kind of opening the doors to something different. I don't know the reason why. Uh, for example, those media like CNBC, why they don't call them for interview? I mean, there was one time I remember they yeah. called Sylvia for interview. Yeah. I think this was only one time. I haven't seen anybody else uh, invited for interviews. Yeah. Right. So I'm I wondering why. I mean, this is this is a this is an investment vehicle, right? This is investment funds, which offered and approved by SEC is traded in the stock exchange. Why don't they simply interview the fund managers? Yeah. So people get exposure and understand what, what it is, you know. But that was something I was wondering about. It looks like probably because I'm just thinking out loud, maybe because the hedge funds, you know, they're doing them themselves. They're doing this, using the same tactics with the option income trading. And then they see this maybe as a competition. Mm-hmm. That's what I think, and they don't want to give them the stage or uh, a voice in the in the main media. They they want to get the whole share of these financial, uh, you know, funds. Yeah. And uh, so get the money from other investors, including the retail institutions. So think about what if, because you asked earlier the question about the retail. I mean, who is invested in these funds? And we indicated that probably and most likely they're only the retail investors. Why? Because institutions do this themselves. They don't need fund to do this for, for them. Yeah. They're using the same tactics. Option trading, synthetics, cover call, spread, credit spread, credit debit spread, all that stuff. They, they already exp they have the expertise to do this themselves. Yeah. Right? But this... This type of vehicle that is offered to the retail investors, that opened the floodgate, you know, for every one of us to be able to do the same and, and gain and uh, increase our wealth in a certain way. Yeah. The same way they do. A Adam, do you so want to jump in? You, I mean, you, makes, makes sense, right? Yeah, thanks. Sorry about that. I, I um... Anyway, yeah, that, that, that was, uh, first of all, Lion made a great point about with um, the folks being here or whatever listening to us uh, that, you know, maybe uh, some of us could come up with some good ideas for new 
you know, new funds for them to create. Uh, I thought that was a great idea, Lion. Ho hopefully they'll listen if so. Um, next, um, one of my thoughts is, uh, you know, the reason why uh, I like the way you, you said it and agree, Camille, CNBS <laughs> and the others, to, to me, they're not mainstream media anymore. Uh, YouTube is people like you and people who are, you know, on the grounds doing doing every everyday work. Uh, you know, we're we're all mainstream media now, and and they're just you know fluff. Uh, but I think the the real reason is is that I think Weston just typed it also on on your YouTube um, chat that they're too small. But I was thinking that they don't invest or they don't buy advertisements with. CNBS and Yahoo Finance and, and the rest. So until they do, they're not going to, you know, the MS mainstream media is not going to talk about them. And it's the same thing with Tesla. You know, Tesla doesn't buy ads, so they hate on Tesla. And so all these high yield dividends, they're not big enough yet to buy ads. So they're going to hate on them. Yeah, I think. You, you brought a good point on on, on how uh, advertising marketing work. I don't know anything about it because I'm not in that field. And I, I watch a YouTube channel for Doug Monroe. For those who, Doug Monroe is an engineer. He used to work for Ford. And all his YouTube channel, he break, he essentially stripped the car apart and he analyzed it from an engineering perspective. So if you're into automobile and stuff, that Doug Monroe is an awesome uh is it Duck Monroe? I forgot the name. No, yeah, well, yeah, it is Monroe. Uh, I forgot his first name, but yeah, he's. I it's not Doug. Doug is the Doug is the, the the reviewer. That's a different guy. Yeah, yeah, Doug. Yeah, he 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 has his own channel, Doug. I think he sold that though. But anyway, yeah, no, Mon Monroe. Um, I forgot his first name, but yeah, it's he does Sandy. an amazing job. It's Sandy. Yeah, Sandy, Sandy Monroe. Yeah, Sandy Monroe. That's it. Uh, Doug is two different people. Doug is the reviewer. Monroe is the engineer. So Monroe was right. talking about this. He said, you know, one of the questions is like, what's wrong with Tesla? Why the, why the, why everybody's going after Tesla? You know, like, you know, like the car and stuff like that. And he literally explained everything. And I can't believe it's on a car channel, not on a finance channel. Tesla does not advertise. Right. And and he said he said why why don't they talk bad about Ford, General Motor, all because all these dealership advertise at the local business. Uh, all these car dealership. That's why you never see these local news trash any of these car company because they advertise in all these local medias. And but Tesla doesn't advertise at the national level or even at the local level. So they don't advertise right. at all. So therefore they just get in the blunt of all the you know the you know <laughs> it's interesting. I you know when he's when he explained that how automobile advertisement work, that's kind of click on for me like man Maybe maybe Tesla need to. Uh, do they need to? I don't know. Uh, maybe just to make peace. Well, they, yeah, they they haven't because you know word of mouth is how they've done so well. Yeah. But they are finally starting. Um, meet Kevin on YouTube. Uh, he was at one of the quarterlies about two quarters ago, and when when they asked questions from the the audience, yeah, he stepped up and he asked them, "Hey, you know, how about advertising?" So they have been doing like some Google ads and some little yeah. things, but nothing major yet. Is this the same Meet Kevin that I made a video of somebody who made a video of him that he uh, short he short uh, Tesla? Uh, he he did short Tesla about a uh, two weeks ago, and yeah. everybody thought he was still short, but he, he didn't. Um, he, I'll so tell he you, did this he, from he, clickbait. <laughs> maybe, but I'll tell you that guy is a brilliant guy. I absolutely love watching his channel. Okay, he he you know he is self taught about. You know the U.S. economy, the yeah. history of the U.S. economy, and I watch every time Powell's on or any important news. He goes live and he helps explain, you know, what they're saying and why oh. and what it means. He's a brilliant guy. I love him. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, I, I I never I never seen a single show of Meet Kevin. The, the only reason yeah, I, I know about Meet Kevin is there's another YouTube video, another YouTube guy who's criticizing Meet Kevin because this guy was pumping Tesla. And all of a sudden, now he's shorting Tesla. Like, what the heck? Well, that that's because this guy, uh, he's probably a small channel, and <laughs> he gets, uh, 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 you know, clicks if he puts Meet Kevin on there. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll tell you, Meet Kevin, he's a really good guy. Uh, I'll, I've learned so much from him over the last few years. Yeah. I swear by that guy. L like you with High Yield Dividends, you're my guy, and he's my guy for... You Come know, really on! Now, now you're smoking. Now, now, now you're smoking. No crap. way! You, you how, know me. How I, am I? How how am I your guy on high yield dividend? Come on, man! Like I like I've said about fifty times, 
I was thumbing through my YouTube yeah. dashboard one day, and all of a sudden your your channel popped up, and I remain loyal to you that you you popped up, you opened me to this, and you you, you might recall um uh, this this month I in April I should be doing fourteen thousand a month, and it's all because of you. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I when I have an episode that say uh, yield max save lives, you, you, you you're, you're that you're, you're that group. So, uh, are you are you in the working class or you're the, you're making a lot of money? No, I'm I'm working class. I, so if you recall, I presented that spreadsheet about a month ago, where I was explaining the five thousand a month dividends and yeah. you know no, I can't what, remember what everybody. I apologize. Um, you know, I'm gonna, yeah. You, yeah. I'm I'm getting there. Once I keep coming on enough, we'll, we'll be buddies. But I'm joking. But yeah. Um, no, yeah. So in fact, I actually updated that quite a bit. I haven't put it on Google Sheets yet, but uh, I've done quite a bit on it on the uh, uh, Excel. Mm -hmm. So uh, once I get on Google Sheets, uh, if you're okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll try to get on for 15 minutes sometime and go through it again. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the dancer and that that we could meet up in Miami. Yeah, yeah salsa dancer, and yeah. also. Um, I know you're coming to New York. I, yeah. I'm considering going, but I, I do. If you drew a line between Providence and Boston, yeah, um, right on that line, right where the Mass Rhode Island border is. So, uh, you know, when you're up you know, this I'm, way, if, so my I grew up in Boston. I'm on my right. way to Boston. New York is Correct. just a stop. I'm on my way to Boston, right. but I'm literally not on my way to Boston. I'm on my way to meet my parents. Correct. But because of my my parents is in Boston. Because they're doctors in Boston and all this stuff, so they just they they, they spend some time with my sister, uh, and and they're in Boston. That's why I'm driving this. So I'm meeting my sister and my parents. But unfortunately, yeah. because I'm stopping in New York City, my parents going back home. So depending on the window, if my parents going to stay in Boston for that whole week, guess what? I'm going I'm going to Boston. I'm not going I'm not going to New York. And so if if uh, if my parents go back to New York, then of course I will go to New York. Then I'm not heading toward. It's going to split yeah. up from New York City. I'm going to split up depending which where my parents are going to be. I'm uh, the reason I'm going up there is to see my mom, to see my m mom and dad. Uh, yeah. And my sister, you know, she's she's going to be around for a long time, so I I, I can see her some other time. But yeah. well, if you do end up coming up and you have some spare time, my wife and I would love to uh, uh, buy buy you know take meet you for a drink real quick or something. If you oh have yeah. Spare time. Hey, I, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold you on to that. I'm serious. All Absolutely. Right. Okay, that's maybe awesome. we'll take you to a salsa club. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, maybe you could teach me salsa. How about that? There is. We'll, yeah. we'll be happy to. Dude, it's easy. man, you know, do you know? I, I, you know, you'll come back. Your wife will, will whack you for not learning it sooner. Well, no, you gotta, you gotta. I got, I gotta take her with me. So when you and I, when, oh, when we meet, I got all four of us. You gotta yes. teach her and me and. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, Dan Watson oh. made a good point here. Um, I, Dan Watson is getting very popular on my uh, channel. He's, I see him all the time now. I, uh, Dan, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know who you are, but it's nice to meet you. And uh, he he made a really good point. Kevin Short Tesla, he betrayed the cause. I don't know who Kevin is. I never seen his channel, uh, but of course Adam is a huge fan of Kevin. So you can be a fan, and but. But here's the thing that uh, I agree with Dan on this one is uh, I'm not a big fan of people who, who, who doesn't believe what they believe in. You know, like if you uh, now that's not, that may not be true. Dan and I, you you may be you may be wrong in this, and I may be wrong, and of course Adam could say you're we're both wrong, and um, but uh, yeah, I if if we are high yield dividends investor and we talk about high yield dividends, and all of a sudden next week. I'm start crapping on uh, high yield dividend, man. You guys need to unsubscribe me and just leave, and and just don't even watch any of my channel because it's crazy. Why would I? Why would I do that? You know, um, you know. So you, you shouldn't do that. There's there's a lot of people do that. There's a lot of YouTuber like that. I I watch a YouTube one time. His channel literally said dividend something, right? Dividend something. I don't want to. I don't want to give the name of the channel. And I'm watching like I'm watching him. Since since the beginning, I pretty much seen all his video, and all of a sudden, when Tesla was doing this reverse split thing, he just went he just went kapoop on it. Matter of fact, it was it was so bad that Panda made a video about that. He made a video about that. It was just crazy uh, about how he changed his mind. 
The other one is Panda made a video on uh, I forgot her name, but ET he called her ETF Bobby. It was the same thing. He was like, she was all about buy high, buy dividend, buy this, buy Chepi, buy that. All of a sudden, she said she said pooping on high yield dividends. We're like, what? Why, why? Why do people do that? I don't understand. Why do people do that? Uh, of course, I'm new to YouTube, and it it makes sense now. A lot of time, people do that for clickbaits and stuff like that, yep. and so they get attention. Clicks, clicks. Yeah. Now, meet me, Kevin. He's he's still long Tesla. He's been long Tesla. He loves Tesla. He's been long. It's just you know here and there he'll make some you know short plays for some you know some quick hits. But he 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 loves Tesla. Yeah. Well, I don't blame him. I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't know anything about short play. But but hey, if you, making money is making money. Just like a T-shirt in Miami, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, but did you see F FW post there? Come here. Uh, post your salsa lesson so the growth investors criticize you. <laughs> Where post your salsa lesson so the growth investors criticize you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yes, yes. Oh man, I I I want to learn how to dance. If if one thing before I pass before I die, I'm definitely gonna learn salsa dancing. I'm, I'm all right. So we'll 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 teach you that a little bachata too, and then you have to look when you get back back home. Yeah. Or before you can go, uh, find a studio near your house. I'm sure there are plenty over there. Yeah. And when you get back, you too take lessons. It's the best thing ever. Um, I I've made so many amazing friends, yeah. great great people. And then wherever you go, like I, you know, when I was single, when I used to travel, um, I you know to Austin a lot stuff like that. When yeah. I'd go to Austin, I would um, you know go to a local salsa club and just dance and make new friends there. It, it's amazing. Highly recommend it. All right, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> uh, wow, wow. We may meet up in Boston here. So you yeah. and uh, and uh, and Colonel Matrix. I gotta meet Colonel Matrix. Uh, oh, I, there you go. I, I owe him a, a whiskey. Uh, uh, hibiki, hibiki whiskey. We gotta drink hibiki whiskey together somehow. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you Is been in downtown Boston? Because I'm in. I'm in Boston, you know, Boston, Boston. Have you? No, I, I, that's easy to get up there. But no, like, like I said, I'm, I'm in, um, if, like I said, if you drew a line from Boston to Providence, right on the Mass Rhode Island border. All right. Well, I'll uh, swing by because it's I-95. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm going up north, I will definitely, when I'm in New York City and I'll, you know, we're talking about two weeks from now in my, in my parents' yeah. medical situation or the doctor, let's say, let's say she stick around for a week. I will yeah. I will send you a message and say hey I'm heading to Boston and then we'll we'll meet up uh, we'll meet up okay that's awesome man I'm I'm looking forward that, to do that that'll be perfect also uh, real quick um, yeah. I I just listened to you at first today yeah. on um, on on Twitter and and everything sounded great oh oh uh, thanks I appreciate it yeah for those who don't know this I'm multicast multi -bro uh, broadcast now so I'm broadcast in in Twitter and uh, so you know Elon talk about citizens. Uh, citizen news uh you know citizen providing you know the new i think adam you talk about that about you know we are the mainstream media now and yeah hey, i agree there, there you go That's there's me true. doing mainstream media at the <laughs> at, at twitter on not tw twitter or x uh whatever you want to call yeah. it <laughs> yeah yeah that's awesome yeah so i'm broadcast uh wow this uh our chat just got really busy here let me see read real quickly here um uh, Jordan Carson. Uh, so the term "moat" came from uh, comments Warren Buffett made during a shareholder meeting. Morningstar ran with the concept and create moat rating for stocks. I have no idea what he's talking about. So uh, uh, Dan Watson, uh, what else in existing can you retire off a hundred thousand a lottery ticket? What? Warren Buffett is living in 1887. He's way past his prime. He can't even use a phone. Wow, Jordan, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan is not a Warren Buffett. Hey, at least you get his name right. I got his name. I keep calling him Warren Betty. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but I did take the time to watch Warren Buffett video. I saw a couple of video with him and Charlie Monka uh, interview. Uh, it was a pretty awesome video. You know, uh, it was like a two-hour session and talking about everything. You know, talking about just investment in general. Uh, you know, I. Uh, it's very interesting. Rough Rough bought additional fifty thousand of Tesla today. Wow, you know Rough Rough. Uh, I like Tesla, but 
you you know we have a lot of options now. You don't have to buy Tesla. When I start this investment journey, all we have is Tesla. It's Tesla and Clip. If you want to buy high yield dividend, your choice is either Tesla, Clip, or OLK. That was it. But then during the summertime, Nvidia came out, M MZ came out, and then Microsoft came out. Uh, I didn't jump into it, and that's my that's my mistake. It's still my biggest mistake uh, in the high yield dividend space. And then and then during, the, during the August, somewhere around August or October, then Connie came out, and uh, I didn't jump in that either. So that's another big mistake. So those are two mistakes I made: You're not jumping NVD and jumping into Connie. Uh, but but there's so many there's so many choice now um, that you don't have to buy. Uh, you don't have to buy Tesla. You can literally buy anything out there now. Uh, and it, yeah. All right. So, uh, hey, we're going to talk about portfolio review. Did, did you guys send the portfolio in? If you haven't sent in your portfolio, go ahead and post in the portfolio section. And I'm going to review. I'm going to look at it. We're, we're all going to look at it together. And we're going to talk about it. All right. Uh, in Discord, hey, welcome. All right, portfolio. The very first portfolio review is by A4, A, A, B4. A, B4, are you in Discord? You're not in Discord. All right, we're going to show his portfolio anyway. So this is A, B4 portfolio. He has $27,000 in his uh, Webull. So every time you see Webull, uh, most, a lot of foreigners own uh, Webull. Matter of fact, a lot of immigrants own Webull. So if you don't have a green card, uh, if, you, if you come to this country, if you're a dreamer, and I don't, I don't care how you get to the United States, but you're in the United States, but you want to make some money, Webull, I, what I... I, I don't know, I don't have a Webull account. This is what I was told. And Webull, uh, essentially, you can create an account with Webull and you you don't have to provide your social security number, which is essentially a uh, pathway to your citizenship. They don't have a, they don't have a social security. Uh, so you can be an illegal alien in the United States, but you can own a Webull account and you can buy all these funds. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like Webull for that reason. Uh, so... It give people opportunity, all right? All right, so he owned Tesla. Uh, he owned how many shares? He owned 2,000 shares of Tesla. This, you know, this fund, this, this portfolio look like, is this, is this, uh, is this Mike? Because it remind me, you know, 2,000 shares. I mean, when I'm looking at this portfolio, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is the janitor I'm talking about. Whenever I talk about the janitor, uh, Mike, is this your portfolio? Because it looked like your portfolio because you have 2,000 share of Tesla and you have one share of Tesla, you have one share of Marathon, and I don't know what GNW is, but you have two shares. But essentially, you own 2,000 shares of Tesla. So uh, let's see how much money he's making a month. Uh, 2,000 share time 81 cents. So he's making $1,620. That's pretty good money, man. That's good money. You know, uh, every month you get $1,620. Uh, over over 1500 That's essentially a paycheck. Uh, for a lot of people, a lot of people paycheck. So, well, congratulations. So, my next question is, what do you do with that money? It looked like you, it looked like you put the money back into it, because you're not buying anything else, or did you spend the money? That's what I'm just curious. Are you spending the money, or you put the money back in? All right. Uh, your cost average is high, fifteen seventy four. Oh no, your cost average is like my twenty three eighty nine. So. Uh, yeah, it's up to you how what you do with the money, man. But that's awesome. One thousand six hundred, good for you. All right. One of the questions somebody asked me, Michael, do you invest in companies? Also, if you if you do, uh, if you don't, then why not? 
Uh, I don't have my portfolio open right now. I have to disable everything to open it. I do invest in company. The biggest company I invest is Tesla. Uh, I, I believe in Tesla. When I start out my investment journey, I own Coca-Cola, I own SCHD, I own Realty Income, I own Alteria Group. I own all the REIT, pretty much all the REIT at one point. Uh, let's see what other company. Um, I own uh, CV, uh, CVS, I own uh, AT&T, Ford. Let me, let me show you what I own. I can tell you what I own. This, this is what I own over the year. And what happened is I just consolidate the money and I, I should show you what I own. My portfolio, where's my portfolio? At one point, I own all these guys, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, company-wise. Uh, I don't own Bitcoin. That's just on my watch list. I own it. Uh, I don't own NB, NBOSS. Uh, LES, I don't own that. Um, I don't own... I, I haven't... I, I'm, I'm going to buy BYDD. I'm just not own it yet. I'm going to buy Zoomy. Zoomy. I don't own it yet. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find something I own right now. All right, ca uh, Han Ketchup. Okay, uh, the Verizon, the uh, GIS. This is the cereal company. Coca Cola, uh, Vici Property, CRT. Those are REIT. Realty Income. Those are REIT. I own all that. Okay, um, UAN. These are the uh, they're the nitrogen company. They make fa for farming. So I own. I own AGNC, Apple, Hospital REIT. Uh, here's uh, here's AT and T, um, you know CLM. I used to own CLM, COF. I own Ford. At one point, I own all these company. Uh, I used to own a lot of the. I even own S at one point. Of course, I own Rivian now. But what I did is I just consolidated everything because I just throw all. I put all my money in income. I sold all that. I just rebalanced, and then I just put all my money in income. So the plan is, um, the plan was to own all that and just grow it. But then. What happened is like, you know, um, I'm just going to go in all in income. And once I get $10,000 a month, then I'm more at peace. My goal, my, my, my first goal was to get $5,000 my first year, $10,000 on my second year, and maybe $15,000 to $20,000 on my third year. That's it. Once I get to $10,000, I'm, I'm considering myself safe. What I need to get is $13,000 because I need to take $3,000 off for tax, and $10,000 is my spending money. Why 10000 Because that's how much I'm getting right now in my salary. So that's why I need my goal is to get 10000 And I'm not going to get to 10000 if I'm owning Nokia, I'm owning you know, AT&T, UAN. It's just slowing me down. And uh, so that's why I just sold all of that. Uh, and then I just bought, I just put it all into, I don't know what I bought, you know, because I, I transferred it all into income fund. So between QQY, Coney, and, and Clip, and Tesla, um, you know, those are my, those are my core funds. So I put all those money into those funds and that that's what I did. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. I, I love CVS. Not only I own CVS, but I own their new, the newest, the splinter, uh, the splinter CVS Cove. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the company. I, I think it's Cove. Uh, oh shoot. K K U it, It's like it, it's it's a it's a it's it's CVS spin-off so it's they sell uh, you know tie and all and stuff like that. I've got, I just blank out. I actually owned that for a while and uh, that was gonna be my my bread and butter for a while too but then I, I sold it out. Okay. I hope that answered them some question on that. So let's go back to his portfolio. Uh, so, uh, AB4, if you're out there, this is a good portfolio. Keep growing, man. You remind me of the Walmart guy. The guy who worked at Walmart, he, um, he has 2,000, I don't know how many shares of Tesla here. He just, all he bought is Tesla. He worked at Walmart and all he bought is Tesla. It's over a year now. He started in the summer of last year. So, he started somewhere when I came back from, from London. So, he, he just started buying you know, I saw him the other day, and he's he's still buying Tesla. That's all he bought is Tesla. I don't know how much Walmart employee get paid, but he just buy Tesla. He just keep he just keep throwing it. Eventually, he's gonna make enough money in Tesla where it's actually more money than his Walmart job. So, 
So good kudo on him. Kudo. Alright. So that's that's Tessie. Dawn, are you there? Alright, we're gonna look at Dawn's portfolio sure. here. Yeah, I mean. Alright, Dawn, I can barely I'm see. Uh yeah, you you need to open in browser because you know it's kinda Yeah. It's the I record there, it's it's kinda sucks for sharing. All right. But if you open it in browser, it's it's better. It's a little bit better. Yep, I just did it. Scroll. All right, so this is this is Don portfolio. First of all, Don has uh, $53,000 in his portfolio. This looked like it came from, uh, is it E-Trade or, or Robinhood? No, no, no. That's just from the check, check it. Uh, dividend tracking website. Oh, dividend tracker. Okay. Uh, it look. It, no, it has... no, it's it's called it's trackmydividends.com. All right. Yeah. yeah it's it's just I, I have I have dividend tracker, but uh, you know my free trial is off. Don't feel like paying. Yeah. Or or you know, being cheap. Yeah, cheap I use that. I use dividend tracker too. I use this uh, I use this company here. But it's uh, it's free. I use the free version, not the paid version, and uh, I like the free yeah. version. Yeah, but it limits your holding when you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can only put ten. That's why. That's why you see me. That's why I only put the top ten here. Yeah. So so track your dividend. That's come. I'm not doing any advertising here. I hope. But yeah, it's it's free for you know. You can put as many profiles as you want. I think yeah. I put a, a few in it, and it's free. So it, it doesn't limit you in any way. So that's cool. They have a few premium features, but the, the you know the basic one is showing the upcoming dividend and yeah, what have you. That's that's free. So you know, just come. The, the, it just looks. It, it's not. It doesn't look as nice as the dividend tracker. Yeah. So you got fifty three thousand dollars in your portfolio. You make an in annual income of eleven thousand. So roughly about a thousand a month. Congratulations, that's pretty good money, man. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of movements. Yeah. I've, I've, I've decided I, I went into 100% ETFs. I just won. Essentially, what I did in the last, last days, actually, I, I just decided, you know, I had a few, um, I had a, f a few dividend aristocrat. Yeah. Aristocrat uh, stock, somewhere dividend kings, I think. Uh, I had Kimberly, Kimberly Clark yeah. and the uh, MMM and others, and I figured, yeah, okay, let's grow on, on this one. So, you know, use the yield max stocks to generate a little bit of the yield, and put that back on dividend aristocrats. I okay. mean, you know. Well, your biggest uh, holding, your biggest holding is REIT or all IET. This is an ETF that focuses on REIT. I believe this is iShare. That's why uh, is REIT iShare. I'm pretty sure it's actually no. no, 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 no. So this is Hoya Capital. This oh, is Hoya. this is R. This is yeah. I was confused. It's confusing. This the the the, the known one is R E I T. The one you're referring to. Yeah. This is R I I E T. Oh, oh, okay, it's the wrong one. Oh, right. mm, yeah. It's very it's very similar. So oh, right. I, I I actually I actually got this ETF by mistake. A typo mistake. Um, you bought 500 share by mistake? You make any no. income? Dude! Absol dude! Come Absolutely on! Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I said I I, I, I discovered uh, that even I'm, I'm not buying anything by mistake. All good. Okay. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm going to I'm gonna ruin that joke, but no, I'm yeah, sorry. But, no. but think about this. No. Dude, you, you, no. your biggest holding, your biggest holding, okay? Is this company? You have five hundred shares. It's well, not it's a not, company. It's actually, not a company. It's an ETF. Uh, it, it, it's an ETF. ETF that, it, that's what I'm going to say. I'm sorry. This this ETF. You have five hundred share. Well, the most mm -hmm. quantity share of holding in terms of dollar amount is not the biggest, but in terms of quantity, five hundred shares of this ETF, and it generates you, <clears throat> generate you literally. I'm going to show it now. Eight cents. Every month, come on, man! You get a dollar right. total. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why so good? Why so good? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. First of all, 
if you know if you're gonna look at the big picture here you will see the, the actual yield here yeah. considering it's you know its price which is you know it's very cheap yeah uh, considering what what the cash amount is uh you get a pretty high dividend yield you, you get 9.9 uh 9.90 percent dividend yield that, yeah. that's that's good not so bad you know if you look at stock analysis you'll see 9.9 percent dividend yield yeah I think, I think that that's good also since it's price the way it is priced at 10 36 currently per stock i can you know i can drip on it i can i can buy a lot of stock just from investing uh it's, it's easy to reinvest well, I feel I feel I get more for more for my for what I for what I put in. Uh, that's how I feel anyway. And it's well diversified. It holds it holds, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's ten dollar price. Let's look at uh, some price nearby, right? Let's look at OLK for example. OLK is thirteen dollar, and it's paying forty six cents. Mm -hmm. But it, that, that's a different. It's a different. Okay, okay. So let me let me do a. So, what I'm trying to do here is to kind of split my portfolio into like more of a long-term funds that I want to invest in. That I they they hold the underlying um, stock, mm -hmm. uh, or as much as as much underlying you know values as possible. For example. Uh, this 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 ETF uh, REIT. If you look at the holdings, you see. I mean, you have so many REITs in there. You have so much diversification. Yeah. I feel re really safe in just you know putting it on drip and just you know forget about it because it, it, it's so diversified. Where are this all these companies gonna go? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I mean, of course, you know, I, REIT can have go you, up and, and have down. You look at have you look at CLM? I mean, it's seven dollar, but at least it pay you ten cents. Cornerstone, yeah, the almighty cornerstone. Yeah, that's an SP. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so cornerstone tracks the uh, the, the underlying the the uh, uh, personally, I just didn't like the. Uh, so cor for, for first of all, cornerstone is not a. Uh, it, it's it's like a how you call that uh, CEF fund, right? It is it has a, like a yeah, there's two of them. CEF and uh, they're, they're closed end funds. Closed end funds. Yeah, they're so, not open fund. None of this. There's only limited number of shares sell to the right. public. Yes, yes, yes. So first of all, so you have to get a little bit more knowledgeable about these funds. For so I, I've been doing some research and. Uh, currently, I'm using interactive brokers yeah. for the reason that I'm an international investor. It works better for me. Mm -hmm. I don't get the option to to drip on the to invest on the on the nav yeah. of this fund. And I, from what I understand, that's the whole point of it. Like, if you're not investing the nav, you're just potentially losing money on the. Uh, because the, because the fund is not really it's, it's not uh, if you look at the <laughs> the value it keeps going down but if you drip on the nav from my understanding it's a little bit different yeah uh, so I, i'm not too familiar with that so i'm not you know i'm not being accurate here with everything but uh, uh, my understanding is if you don't have a way to reinvest on on the nav then you're not really you know maximizing what you can get from this fund yeah um, I do have, however, have my eye on another fund like that uh, for the future, which is also like a CEF number, uh, uh, sorry, CEF fund, yeah. which is the Gebelli fund for multimedia, the, the GGT ticker GGT. You're familiar with that one? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's you know, it's, it's not here. It's well diverse. No, no, I'm just, you know, that's for the future. I'm just, you right. know, as far as Cornerstone, I'm just, I'm, I'm talking about, about similar vehicles that I'm planning to. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not giving you any advice or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, right. I'm just talking, we're just talking here. At, at the end of the day, it's yeah. your portfolio. You don't, 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 don't take it as I'm trying to critique you one way or the other. No, no, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I'm actually looking for advice. So it's all good. Yeah. <laughs>
I just, I just, uh, I, you know, I to me, I, I just don't see the point of putting, you know, your biggest number of shares into a fund that give you very little return when there's so many other good one out there. Like S Vault give you pretty good money, uh, you know. That's none yield max. That none. Even XYLD, QYLD, you know, all those guys give you better yield. Uh, matter of fact, uh, so, you know. So okay. So what I'm doing, I'm not looking just at yield i'm I'm not like picking picking uh etf just out of consideration of yield i'm also okay. i'm also considering diversification so i want you know i want so uh, well, what i had before is i had i had a separate reads i had uh triple n uh n and n right yep and i had and i had o for a little while and I felt like, you know, I, I felt like, you know, I, I saw, I, I thought to myself, hey, just, I, I just want to put all, you know, I just want to get all the reads as, as, as much as I can. And just, I, okay, I like, I like this sector. I just don't want to sit around and predict where each one is going to go and which, you know, which read is, is, is good right now, which is the Simon properties, or should I put them, you know, more money into O or what? That means just I just how want come, to find a fund if where you like read. How come you don't own O or Vici property or so? I I do. I, I mean I don't I don't own it directly. So I am coming from that. So I'm coming from 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 own. So no. So O is not in in R I E T, but uh, but pretty much all uh, N N N is under R E T, and uh, you know. So you okay. have a lot of if you're gonna look at R E T, you just uh, I just I just I just want to get a piece of it. Of okay. all of them, uh, that makes sense. That get makes you. Sense. All right. I just don't want to follow just one, you know, because, for example, oh, you know, recently I saw people, so many people complain how how much how how because there was so so there's such a big hype on on realty income uh, yeah. on social media, you know, and people just you know think that I saw a lot of people just it, it just also me, you know, when you are exposed to all the the hype around oh. People are just so crazy about it, so that you know, you just you know, for someone just getting into it, people are just thinking, yeah, okay, I'll just put in, it's safe, you know, I'll put in whatever I have, whatever savings I have, let's let's put it in all, or you know, people are just going crazy with all. And recently, it, it went down, went down. Uh, not sure by how much, but yeah, it, it, you know, not sure it's if it's a near its dip but for the 52 weeks but uh, surely went down a little bit and you know i see people on you know reddit or different forums saying hey well, am, I, am i stupid putting on my mind like, oh you know people are wondering right why maybe i did a mistake <laughs> things like that you know because obviously if you put all the money on a single stock and you see it going down and yeah I mean, you're seeing the value, the loss of value, and you get scared. You, you get, you know, as a someone starting out, yeah. you don't look at it as as someone who is, you know, familiar with dividend investing. You don't think of the opportunity that you have to buy more. You know, at first people are scared um, because you know it's it's the companies they're not going to go away so quick. So you know, it, it's it's it, if if the stock goes down, then yeah, that's an opportunity to buy. But again, people are scared, especially at first, when they're looking for something stable that will you know uh, keep making money for them. So anyway, what I'm saying is, um, I think diversific for me, I think diversification is the is the better way to go. I want to be in REIT. I just want to be be in it, you know, sector from the you know just follow pretty much uh you know as much as stocks as i can in the sector and just uh that that what that's what the rit are that's the long version of why i'm in re -IT. Your, your biggest <laughs> okay. your your the yeah. most profitable for you is essentially jep jep y which i uh i am a huge fan of too i like defiance uh mm. you have 1600 your second biggest one is QQY, which I'm a huge fan, which I own a lot too, uh, 1,500. Mm -hmm. And then your third one, mm -hmm. essentially, I'm going back here to Connie. Uh, I must have missed something. Yeah, Connie. So Connie is your biggest, which I own a lot too. Connie is giving you the most money, even though it's only 50 shares. Yeah. Uh, 
because you probably get at least a hundred, almost a hundred dollar out of that. You know, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, because the, yeah, volatility. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a pretty That's good beautiful. fund. It's a very right. balanced fund because you have you pretty much have all the things I have: AIYY, AMDY, which very good, MZ, very good, Connie. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar on DOGG. Uh, Facebook, I'm very familiar with Fenny. Uh, I'm I'm not familiar with Fenny at all. Uh, I mean, I've seen Fenny, but I I um, I've seen Fenny in my research, but I you're the first one I've seen own Fenny. Feppy is very good. I love Feppy. F E P I. That's Rex Share. Uh, I'm not familiar with High End. That's uh, Wisdom Tree, and then I Y K. Not really familiar yeah, with yeah. that uh, so much. Or, matter of fact, I don't know anything about it. I don't want to say familiar. I'm not. I don't know any of these guys. Jep Y mm -hmm. Clip. I'm a huge fan of Clip. I like Clip because I I like international. I, you know, China doesn't scare me. And uh, so you got 110 share. That's not bad. That's pretty brave. A lot of people won't even buy Clip. Yeah. NVD NVD man, you got it for 29. Good deal. Uh, NVDY NVDY. Yeah, that's what I mean. NVD NVDY. Uh, QQY, NVD, NVD, yeah. what a great price, man! You got it for sixteen sixty one or sixteen thirty seven. That's a great price, man. Uh, I my my is still still high. Of course, we just talk about read uh, spy eye, which is very good. Y Max is very good. These two are very very good. Uh, interesting that you yeah. bought the round hill one and you got forty share. That's very interesting. You bought that. Uh, got, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it haven't even started to distribute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Weekly is, yeah, I, I wanna, yeah, I wanna get on it as quick as I can. Makes sense for me. I think there's a lot, there's enough money in the Nasdaq to distribute weekly. Yeah, I, I believe in that. I believe in the underlying. Yeah. I think technology makes a lot of money, and it's gonna be a good, good uh, coming from. You know, working in, you know, this world, I can say, it. I believe in that. I believe in the technology growth. I believe in the AI and everything. There's gonna be enough enough money to distribute uh, weekly from the Nasdaq for sure. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with diversification, go man. Um, there's yeah. nothing wrong with all. Um, I, I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm get to a point when when I get my ten thousand, my portfolio is gonna be very mm -hmm. diversified. Uh, because I'm going to start spread load. I, I got to get to 10,000 first, so I got to do everything I can to get to 10,000. Once I reach 10,000, when I go to my 20,000, it's going to be a very diversified portfolio. Um, because generating, right now, let me just show you, uh, I wish I log in. Um, I get I get $3,000 from Tesla. I don't need to get $3,000 from one single fund anymore. What I do is I'll get, I'll get, Three thousand dollars from three different funds, so a thousand for QQY, a thousand from IWNY, a thousand from Spy T to make up the three thousand uh, dollar. That is that's the way I'm gonna do it going forward. Now, when I first start out, it only works when you first start out because when you first start out, you if diversification doesn't help you, and that's that's that was my problem when I first start out. If you diversify too much. You're not getting the most bang for the buck. So what I did is I just went, I just went 98% Tesla. I just went all in on Tesla. I get the most money as possible. Once I get the money I need, once I have the money, then I start dive, I start buying other stuff. So I I I put all my money in to get Tesla. I finally got three thousand dollars of Tesla, and then I put money into Clip. And then I get I built Clip to a thousand. I put money in QQY, built to a thousand. But that's how I grow it, just by, because if you di if you diversify too much, you're only getting essentially. Think about this. You're getting twenty one percent yield. Where I, when when I was when I was in Tesla that time, I was getting seventy percent yield, seventy to ninety percent yield. You know, so there's a huge different. You you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's all about for me. I, I I see what you're saying. I but I definitely also want to have as much yield as possible. However, being new to the 
investing i do i do feel you know i still feel a little bit i don't want to say scared but I, f- i still feel that i need to be a little bit on a safer side yeah i, I thought why... yeah i'm not disagreeing with that you you do what you need to do mm-hmm. to to make you to make you feel comfortable so you can sleep well at night yeah. when i first started Absolutely. off I, i thought the same thing i'm like man if i nickel and dime this thing i never gonna get i mean at 21 percent uh, 10 i during the time think about it, i own coca-cola and shd they pay three percent so my my yield was even lower my yield was like 12 percent and i was like yeah. i was like you know what tesla is giving me 70 yield and then everything else mm-hmm. gave me like eight percent to twelve percent you know what screw this screw it i'm just gonna go all in on tesla and, and that's what i did and it's one of the best decisions i made because in a in, in a, a year later i able to generate so much income now i don't have to go all in on tesla now i'm more diversified yeah yeah, yeah absolutely that, that's cool i mean uh, i hope i'll get to the point where i feel you know safe enough you, to you can you don't have to change you don't have to change I, i'm just telling you that's what i did you don't have to change but what i'm saying is that eventually <laughs> it take time it take time you know so put it this way at the end of the year you're going to get twelve thousand dollars built in this portfolio this portfolio yeah. is on its way to be uh five seven seventy five thousand seventy five thousand dollar account which is my portfolio Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a good goal <laughs> absolutely <laughs> but the difference is my seventy thousand portfolio is making six thousand dollars a month and your seventy yeah. thousand is not making six thousand a month mm-hmm. that that's a big difference yeah but uh you know at, at this point i just feel i'm gonna all my ass a little bit uh not so strong yeah when when the market market will fall <laughs> that's how i feel yep yeah keep throwing money in there yeah, man yeah. keep 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 investing keep keep fighting mm-hmm. all right well, i just want i i just want to show you show you uh, one one thing that mm-hmm. i want to just yeah go ahead and uh one point of if you look at the uh, so some of my funds here don't generate as much yield compared of course to like you know anything yield max does yeah however if you will look at the prices for the stocks mm-hmm. you will see that I'll, i'm keeping it low i'm keeping it very low for each fund so that's why you see you see funds you're saying you, you haven't saw before for like fanny for example mm-hmm. you see it's 25 if you look at fanny you know at stock analysis or wherever you like You see, it's basically the same as uh, XLE. I'm sure you're familiar with XLE, mm-hmm. which is the, uh, uh, you know, it's basically holding, you know, Chevron, Exxon. Uh, we have, so this is the, so Fannie has $1.7 billion dollars holdings. Um, and it's making... Uh, Yeah, uh, the dividend yield is low. However, considering the price is low, I can drip on it more easily than I would, for example, by what I had before is XLE, which currently is priced at, I think, $90, okay? Yeah. So what I did, what I did, I just, uh, so initially I had XLE for because I said, okay, that's, you know, a safe fund for all the energy stuff. But Fanny is essentially the same. It also holds all the energy, uh, you know, all the big companies with uh, yeah. uh, that uh, they, they have energy, and it though. But the price is twenty five forty, and it has a you know. So I can, so maybe the dividend yield is low, but I can still, you know, I can buy more shares from it using I don't know money f- from what I'm getting from uh, yield max or from the fund itself. And just you know, just keep growing this one, which is safer. I, uh, you know, it gives me, let's say, for the future, if I will need, uh, I want to go into more of a margin investing, uh, yeah. ex- lower maintenance fees, 
but as as long as the price my point is some of my funds are not uh what i call safe funds they don't uh, generate as much yield as the the uh you know yield yield max ones however i keep it low as far as the the, the stock price all right so that that enables me well, to me... keep reinvesting yeah let's let's give the uh, community a chance to comment on your portfolio uh all can right. you all see uh, his portfolio would love to get your comments on it uh beside me commenting on it what's 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 your what's your all take on his portfolio uh, you know, would you do something different? You think he's too safe? You think he's too low on something, too high on something? Uh, oh, he buy a lot of unknown. Does anybody have any comments on it? I, I know there's lag, so we got to give him a chance because there's lag. Yeah, I'm going to mute. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks, Kimmer, by the way. Thanks for the for the tips. Yeah. And the exposure, of course. Yeah. Okay, so daily bad lamb say safe AF uh don't change. I can't read the AF part, but uh it, it's safe and he said don't change. He said if it make him sleep well at night, it's perfect. Can you sleep well at night? I sleep. I sleep better at night. Since <laughs> since I have a dividend portfolio, I sleep a lot better for sure. <laughs> I like his portfolio, especially if he's in his thirty. Yep, he's going to high yield and uh, and growth, balancing his portfolio. Yeah. So what I like about his portfolio is there's a lot of us are uh, really into high yield dividends. They, that's all they buy, and then there's 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 a lot of us that buy uh, high yield, low yield, and then some of us have. You know, sixty percent crypto, uh, and then and then forty percent, you know, high yield dividends, and there's people a mixture. You know, depending on who they are. What I like about his portfolio is pretty balanced. Uh, this is a very ETF. It's balanced only in the ETF world. He doesn't have any other stocks or anything like that. But he's very balanced. Uh, it's a very balanced portfolio. Now the price of balancing is you're paying 21% yield. That's it. You that's all you're earning is 21% yield. You're not earning 50% or 60, 70% like my portfolio. So that's a big difference. But it's very balanced. Um, this way he he literally can sleep well at night. He can relax knowing that there's not he's not down like I am down like thirty thousand uh, dollars. The odd of his portfolio down that much is very low, because like for example. And he, he DCA well too. Like, I, I don't DCA well, so that's why I see red and everywhere. Uh, so, yeah, his portfolio is a very balanced. That's 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 my take on it. Does anybody have a disagreement on that? All right. Yeah, this is an yeah, awesome I'm definitely, portfolio. Yeah, I'm definitely scared. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, how do you say, a scared proof. I'm a, it's a, I'm a chicken. I'm chicken. I'm chicken. You know, you say that. chicken for fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm scared. You know, I'm I'm doing. I'm going. You know, I'm walking between the drops. You know, I'm not trying well, not to. Well, uh, are you are you old? Uh, do you have retirement no, in your country? Uh, yeah, we have, but I'm not. I'm 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 actually actually. You know, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Um, there's in my. I don't know if maybe not so near future, but let's say hopefully within the next uh, something five years, there there could be a change, a major change in my life as far as you know, uh, relocation, self relocation situation. Mm -hmm. You know, moving kind of countries. You know, and you know, you know all about that. Yep. And as an as an immigrant, you know, one of the things you need when you are relocating is money. Yep. Uh, and the money that doesn't depend on, you know, labor, because you know you're you're new where you're going. You maybe labor is not the best option. You have to to have money. Yeah, uh, there you go. You're getting a thousand income, thousand dollar at least. You get you the minimum you get is a thousand. So <laughs> the worst case scenario, you can live off that for now. You know, um, and plus yeah. it yeah. the way you bought it. It, they pay, you got the first week pay, you got the fourth week pay, 
You got the second week pay. You even get the third week pay. So you got all your week pay covered. Every week you get paid. That's the plan. That's the plan. Just uh, just to have uh, something that will keep me, uh, you know, on yeah. my feet. And I'm going to need that. And that's going to be current income. And we're going to do, you know, just, just not be worried about money. Uh, when I wake up in the morning for, you know, for the rest of my life, you know, and I, I do want to retire early, uh, but in a, let's say somewhere that has a lower cost of living, depending on that, somewhere around Asia. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's the goal here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh wait, you, you move into Asia? You move into Thailand? Uh... Currently planning on Philippines. 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 Whoa. Philippines. All right. Well, so that's need, gonna you be. Need, you need at least three thousand dollars a month, my friend. Yeah. Well, one thousand for your girl. <laughs> In the. What do you say? This is the 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 minimum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need. This is. This is. This is only for you, to get maybe get the apartment. Uh, but then you you gotta you gotta pay for your lifestyle. All right, you're doing yes, great, you man. Wanna... You're doing great. Hey, dude, I'm taking ten thousand to Cambodia. So, yep, uh, it's right. a oh. yeah. The inflation doesn't the the, the it doesn't uh, let go of anyone. It goes uh, the prices go up anywhere in the yeah. world right now. So yeah, you have to you have to not only create a profile that generates money, you have to create the profile that grows. Yeah. The dividend has to grow as well. So that's also that's also something to, to think about. Make so, sure you have stocks that grow their dividends. That's also what I'm doing. All right. Well, I appreciate Don. I thank you so much, man. And uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, we'll talk. Thanks some more. everyone for coming. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome yeah. job, Don. Colonel, Colonel Matrix. Um, so. Two weeks from now, uh, next at the end of the month, on Sunday, I'm driving up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving like Saturday night, actually. Uh, I'm driving up to New York. I got a I got an event with Rexshare, and then my parents in Boston. So I'm gonna go to Boston. But the thing is, uh, because my initial plan is fly into Boston to spend some time with my my my, my mom, but my mom in Boston only to visit my sister, and then she's at the uh, medical. So, so unfortunately, she's going to leave Boston. So I don't know when she's going to leave Boston. So when I hit New York, if she's on the way back to back home in New York, then, then I'm not going to Boston. But if I hit New York and she's in Boston, let's meet up and drink some, uh, some, uh, hi, uh, some hibiki. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right. All right. I got, I got you and Adam on a on a on a on a journey so i'm coming up with the i-95 and uh and so i'm gonna be in new york i obviously if you don't hear anything from me uh that means i'm i'm on my way to new york i'm just i'm 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 gonna be in new york city for the rec share event and then i'm gonna go to new york to my parents but if you if i'm going to boston i'm telling you i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna hit you up and and we can meet up what city since i'm coming up the i-95 uh, and, and you work all the time, it's probably easier for me to meet you somewhere. What would be a big city that you can meet uh, outside? Uh, well, I mean, I'm south of Boston, so for the most part, you know, any, anything outside of Boston is good because then I don't have to deal with the traffic getting in there. Yeah. I mean, if that works for you. Oh, okay. We can... Well, just because parking is a nightmare in the city. You yeah, know yeah, that. no, no, we don't need to go in the city because I'm going to the city, but you don't need. I'm coming up. I'm coming up to I ninety five. So, uh, oh are, yeah, are you close by Tewksbury and all that stuff, or by Foxborough? No, 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 no. I, no, I'm south of Boston, not north. No, Foxborough. Oh, Foxborough. Yeah, I mean Foxborough is like a forty minute ride for me. Oh. That's nothing. Okay, well, I, I didn't. I, I have no idea. All right. Yeah, that's, Foxborough is not a big deal. You know what? Foxborough is actually a really good place. That uh, Patriot place. Yeah. There's a lot of places there. That's actually where we should meet because it's a good. There's a lot of options. Okay, but I I never been to the new Foxborough. When I was there, it was the Sullivan Stadium. You know, back in the you know when it was. Uh, yeah. 
it's it's easy. It's very easy. Okay. Maybe we- yeah. Once you get up ninety five, it's it's Route One South, and you yeah. literally follow it, and you'll keep seeing signs for Patriot Place, and yeah. um, yeah, it's really easy. It's super easy. Okay. All right. Uh, I will let you know. I will let you know when I'm in New York, and then and see, see what's going on with my parents. And then if my parents go to New York, obviously I'm gonna take a. I'm not gonna go up the I-95. I'm gonna go in a different route. The you know Route 40 going up the up straight to uh, to Albany. And uh, but but if you if obviously if they stay in Boston, I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can convince them to stay in Boston for that week. And then I drive to Boston. Now I can meet my sister and my parents at the same time. And uh, but you know I I'm this is just a target opportunity. So that's why. Awesome, man. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. We're going to drink some hibiki, man. I, I... <laughs> well, I'll bring you hibiki. That's my gift. How about that? First of all, that drink is very expensive, man. I don't know oh, yeah. if I can give you a gift. I just realized that. Never mind. I'm not buying you a gift. That's like a $400 drink. <laughs> it's cheaper than that, but no, I don't need a gift. <laughs> Well, I, I, don't, I don't know how much, you, uh, well, you know, depend what city you're in, depend, you know, I think, I think you probably can get a hundred dollar to, I don't know how much it costs because when I bought it last time as a gift, it was like almost 200 something for a little ball, small bottle. Oh, the bottle I bought was like 80 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you probably didn't buy the right brand. You sure it was Hibiki? Yeah, I'll actually send you, I'll post a picture later on when I get home. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's cheap. Where do you get that from? Some drug dealer, Joe, from the con- uh, around the corner? Believe it or not, I ordered it online, but then you know what? I actually found a place down the street from one of the places that I work. They, yeah. they must have like three or four flavors of it. Right Flav- there. So I can actually, I actually know a place where I can get it. Flavor Hibiki? What? No, no, no. They have like three or four, three or four kinds. Oh. Like I, I call them flavors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's like three or four different brands of Hibiki. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Orion said Hibiki Ham- Hamani is around 100. Wow, I, we, I feel we got Rob in Miami. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> You're in Miami. <laughs> Why am I paying like almost three, four hundred dollars for that damn thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, some good news, man. Good news. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good news too, but I don't want to share in the public. You know, because I got, you know, I got, I got a girl now. I gotta, I gotta, you know, take care of her too. You know, so uh, and uh, and so a lot of good things happen. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of uh, three couple of years, three years ago, before COVID, uh, I told I told the Marine Corps that I'm retiring, and they're like. I'm done. I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna peace out. And the Marine Corps was so blessed. That they, man, I'm. I'm so blessed. They're like, we're gonna have a ceremonial for you. We're gonna have all kind of event, and uh, life is gonna be great. And during the time, I mean, it was just. I mean, I, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have any baggage. You know, it's just me. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> of course, COVID came in, hit hit me, and then. Uh, rental property just went kapoop and life situation change, uh, family situation change and girl situation change. And next thing you know, now, now there's two people, you know, now, now there's a whole family that I got to take care of, you know? And, uh, yeah, so I'm still working, you know, like, uh, I, and, but at least I'm smart enough to know that, Hey man, I, I, I probably can squeeze three years out of this thing and, and I'm punch out. I'm already finished one year, so I got two more years. Because I, once I take off my uniform, I'm done. So, I, man, I'm, 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 I'm looking at... Yeah, that's my whole life My whole life changed dramatically in, in the last, you know, the last three, four years. So it, it's just been crazy. Um, and I'm, I probably end up moving again and, and, you know, and that's all I can say. I, I'm... Two years from now, I, I may just leave the country, you know. So that's 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 how dramatic it's going to be, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, so 
That's why it's so important for me to have this financial situations straighten out and fix pretty quickly. And um, yeah, it's a big change. Yeah, lots of big changes. Yeah. Uh, so Michael Anthony, yeah, I'm still I'm still a marine. Yeah, I'm still. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still I'm still working. I mean, you can see it. I I literally come from work. I mean, I'm wearing my uh, my camis. Uh, this is so. If you take the if I take off my jacket, I put on my cami. Then it's my camouflage. So, yeah, I'm still working. Uh, and if you watch any of the uh, push up video with uh, me and uh, retiring dividend, you see uh, I'm in, in my camis. Yeah, so I'm still working. It sucks, but. Yeah, uh, but and eventually I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna pee peace out, you know, and then uh, and then I'm gonna stop working. Once a marine, always a marine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the goal is not to work anymore. I I, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave uh, the military and then go work in an office somewhere in a Pentagon somewhere, and uh, and that's. You know, as a, a civilian contract, I didn't want to do that. I, I just want to, I want to be done. And that's it. How many hours a day you're working? What? Man, that doesn't make sense. I work full time, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is great. It's nine o'clock. Uh, let me, let me play the closing music here. And uh, I'm so happy, man. Yeah. Uh, Alright everyone, uh, that's my closing music. It's 9 o'clock. Um, I gotta get ready and uh, tomorrow, tomorrow Friday, I gotta do some yut yut training and uh, and, and then during the weekend. Yeah, Michael Anthony, that's a very weird question to ask. Like, I feel like you're trolling me. <laughs> like, it's a weird question. I'm not working for Walmart, man. Uh, so I'm, I'm not working at McDonald's. It's not like it's 9 to 5. What the heck? Oh, I, I, I don't. I think he's trolling me. Is he trolling me? All right. All right. So that's my theme music. Hey, I want everybody to say thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. And um, and and thank you for all those who's an ex watching the show from X. Uh, next week, I'm going to broadcast in Twitch, Facebook. Uh, so this Sunday, I'm going to set it up. This Sunday, I'm going to broadcast Twitch, Facebook, X, and YouTube. Uh, I used to do this back in the day when I was doing uh, you know, video game. And I missed that. It was, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed multicast because you got different, different audience. Different audience have different personality. I know a man still in the army and work about six hours a day. Yeah, I, yeah, Greg. He, I don't think he has any military background. He doesn't understand how the military works. And uh, yeah, no big deal, no big deal. And uh, yep, and depending on duty station, depending on. I, but I, I'm just glad I'm not on a ship and deployed somewhere. So. All right, hey, uh, no, I appreciate it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you all for watching. And if, uh, come hang out with us with Discord and ask questions. And I really enjoy this. I, I'm really happy. And I'll see you guys all around. Hey, thank you.
Alright, peace out. I'm shutting down.